What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this mono blue aggro list in standard. We talked about in the first video how this was kind of a classic list that's been tuned up a little bit to hopefully deal with the current meta. Uh, unfortunately, all that being said, we didn't necessarily do very well in the first video, though I do encourage you to check it out. We did only get one win, uh, and so I'm hoping for a bit better record this time around and then we can kind of summarize how uh, the deck has, has played into the meta or maybe not played quite as well. So... Uh, we will see as we go through, but um, I really do like this list. I love the flash lists in general, uh, and this is definitely a very, very strong one. So uh, it's fun to, to just see how things go. Um, obviously, no rush to play anything else out. We really can't, uh, and so that's okay. Uh, do we bounce? I think we do. Uh, that's a bit of a problematic card for us just in general. And now we've got a mystical to speed up to kind of deal with it if we'd like. Um, and so I think we're going to try and do that. Um, looks like Mardu, so we're going to be against a removal heavy deck, I'm guessing. Uh, and so anything we can do to turn off their engines just a bit, uh, definitely going to be helpful. We Mystical Dispute pretty much anything at that point, um, because all of those are very worth Mystical Disputing. Uh, let's go ahead and attack him. Uh, and here we just have unsubstantiate or negate plus spectral sailor. So we'll see uh, which one we end up needing uh, Let's go ahead and do this send it back And we'll play another sailor um, We'll go ahead and do this now uh, because we do need to draw some cards here. We're, we're a little short on land Um one good thing about the deck we are against is they do not tend to have very many flyers, if any at all. Uh, and so hopefully we can just kind of keep bouncing things and keep things uh, moving forward. We've got the negate up against any removal piece that they may have. Uh, which that is. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, they do still get a little 1-1 one -one here, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Hmm. I'm going to put this over. Uh, I am just going to bounce this uh, to make them replay it uh, because essentially we don't care about this little 1-1, one -one, to be honest. Uh, and then, of course, we get to draw another card here. Uh, wish we had a, a little extra mana. Essence Capture is a very good card against this list, but um, I still think we're doing okay here. Uh, they've got two very good removal targets, though, so sure. Fully expected it. That's fine. All right, uh, we attack in, draw our card, land is helpful. Um, I think we'll just pass here. Let's see what they end up doing. Uh, they've got plenty of options, I'm sure. Although they, they seem to be really having a lot of land here, which is, I mean, good for them. All right, gonna take our hit. And we essence capture that like crazy. Um, <laughs> and we play this out. So they've only got one mana. This should just be the win here. There we go. Very nice, clean win uh, against Mardu um, humans, I guess. Is, is that what that's technically called? I think it's just humans. But either way, we got there. So I'm happy with it. Did get one more win. Let's jump into game two. Uh, what card did we get? Wow, Havoc Jester. So cool. Um, yeah, I also mentioned in the first video that we uh, unfortunately didn't get any videos up uh, towards the end of last week. Thursday and Friday just happened to be very busy days for my for, for me. Uh, and so due to work and things like that, I just did not have the time to record. So I really do apologize. I don't like to miss days, but certainly that happens from time to time. Uh, and so I know we've been a bit slow, but, uh, it's just a busy season for us, unfortunately. And so what are you going to do? Uh, you got to make it work. That's an interesting card, isn't it? Um, well, we attack in and then we just wait. Uh, this cutthroat might be really nice here, uh, depending on how things go. It's just a Chandra deck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think let's just flash this out. Um, hmm. Just attack here. Player or Planeswalker. Okay, um, we'll pass. 
This is interesting. Three damage, huh? Is this just to the opponent? Okay. Um. Hmm. So we do have the option to unsubstantiate. Uh, really, just the fire prophecy would be fine. Which I kind of like. Uh, just because now, like, they could shock this, but they have to... They, they've they got uh, less they can really do here. Sacrifice a creature. Deals two damage to any target. That's pretty good. Um, so what's nice about this is we can Brazen Borrower both of their creatures and just pump this guy up. So if they want to Fire Prophecy it, they certainly can. Um, we could just play Pouncing Shore Shark, though, too. Uh, which is also not bad, but we can flash that, so let's wait. You got me. Ping me to death. So this takes mana just to do that. That's kind of funny. Uh, wow, that's a good card. Chandra's Pyroling is very annoying. Um... I'm going to do this. Put it over. I don't really know what I want to bounce. I don't like any of these creatures, but I guess we'll go with this. That's fine. This is just too easy for them to enable, uh, and so I'd rather not take a ton of damage from that. It's a nice draw. Just get us a little bit more land. Let's go ahead and swing in. They can certainly block here, but looks like they're not going to. Um, and we end the turn. All right. Take the one. Now we've just got double Brazen Borrower up. Or we could just play one of them and then flash out the Brazen Borrower, and then we've just got a secondary threat. Like, we've got plenty of options here. They're not doing a lot. This is just like a weird... <laughs> This is such an odd deck. I, it's very bad, it seems, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's bounce. Get a counter. Sure. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can just win next turn, theoretically, because we just bounce this. They've got one mana up. Which doesn't seem good enough at all. I mean, just do that. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, that's two very clean wins uh, for Mono Blue. I like that quite a lot. And hey, we ranked up to Platinum. Uh, that's nice. Um, all right, well, let's jump into our last game. Let's see how we do. Uh, really hoping we can get another win. It'd be great. We've already evened the tide, though, which is nice. We are officially not going to just outright lose uh, to a, a terrible record. So uh, I always like to say if we can get to 3-3, three, th three and three, uh, I feel okay. Um, and so that's kind of my, uh, my limit for if it's a decent deck, at least. Uh, but this one, I, I think, is we've we've seen just in the past standard environment how good this deck can be. So I don't think that this is a uh, surprise by any means. But it's nice to be able to see it doing its thing and actually working, uh, because obviously in in the first video we didn't have as much luck. Uh, this might be a problem, uh, given our hand. Uh, we don't really have a ton here, so we have to kind of hope that we can stick with it. Uh, glad we didn't just outright play the Stone Coil Serpent on one because Shock, uh, or really any burn spell is, it's very easy for them to just kind of deal with it, so. Alright. This does look like obvious, uh, potentially the Calamity version of this list, uh, which is very annoying. Uh, thankfully we do have Negate here, which might actually come in handy. Um... Do we play the octopus? I don't think we do. I just don't think we can. Um, I don't even think we play this. I think we just pass. Uh, if they do have Calamity, we need to be able to negate it. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, 
Uh, I'm all too happy to kill one of these first, uh, just because while this is a very good card, um, these are the ones that are dealing us a lot of damage at the moment, so we can't really afford to take too much off of those. Um, okay, what do we do here is the question. We can play this for two and still leave up Negate, as well as a Sea Dasher Octopus, to be fair. Uh, let's, let's do that. Um, no attacks. We do have to kind of hold off here because they were the aggressor first, uh, and so we need to be able to answer whatever they they might do. Um, it's very good. Okay. This is kind of a nice little play. We get a counter here. Uh, we can put this over, which means we can just double block, or not double block, but we can literally just kind of eat both of these. Um, love that play. That's very, very convenient. All right. And now we are in a place where we could start attacking. Uh, and so I think we will. Uh, they're stuck on land, worth noting. Which is pretty bad for them. Uh, and we just get to draw a free card here. Not to mention dealing eight damage, which is very good. Um, all right. And we pass. Here we get to flash out Sailor, uh, and leave up Negate. Um, and if we don't get to negate anything, we just get to draw a card. Uh, sure. Get that counter. Let's draw. Uh, and this is where we just start to theoretically just kind of out-resource them. Uh, at least hopefully that's the goal. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to see dash our octopus here just so we get to uh, go ahead and draw a card. Uh, kind of guaranteed, no matter what. They can double block something, uh, which is worth noting. Um, but either way, we get to kind of clear what they're doing, which is great. Draw two cards. Fantastic. Uh, and given this, I think we just hold off. Um, we've got a counter for either, you know, something really, really good, which... I think that's good enough. We can counter it. Um, yeah. And now they're just out of stuff to do. Yep, we get there. All right, that was three straight wins for Mono Blue Aggro uh, after really not a very good start in video one. So I'm very happy we got a few more wins out of this. Uh, I do really like this deck. I think it's very good. I think um, initially my reaction was to say that, you know, because of the meta shift and because things have changed significantly, this is not quite as good as it was before. And I think that still might be true, but... Uh, where I think it has very strong matchups are against a lot of the best of one decks. So a lot of the early aggro ladder decks, this is good because not only is it an aggro deck, but it also has the interac interaction of a control list. Uh, and because it can play everything at instant speed, essentially, um, you really get to play around and manipulate and adapt to whatever the opponent is doing to the best of your ability. Uh, and it's got a lot of interaction to be able to do that. So I love it for that reason. Uh, where it struggles, definitely against control lists. Um, it does have the, the tools to deal with it, but obviously you're sharing those tools with a lot of flash creatures and things like that, which they just get to sweep away or instant speed deal with with things like Heartless Act or Eliminate, uh, or of course later on on their turn, just a sweeper. Uh, and so there's a lot of very difficult things and very tricky plays that you have to manage and maneuver around uh, to be able to win against a control deck. It's not impossible. You've got the tools to deal with it, but it's just got to be a very tight play pattern. And unfortunately, I was not able to do that. Um, against the aggro decks, we seem to be very cleanly winning. Uh, we just have a lot of interaction to, to, to deal with their stuff and slow them down enough that keeps us moving forward. Uh, not to mention we can kind of get ourselves out of burn range in the matter of like a turn. Uh, and so overall, I love this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really happy to be back and recording again. I apologize for missing last week, but I'm excited to be back. Hopefully you guys are excited to watch it and I will see you very soon uh, for another gameplay video. Thanks for watching, guys.